Hey guys, welcome back to What's on the Table, or welcome to What's on the Table if you have never seen one of our videos before. Today we have our pop collection, which isn't very big, but we want to keep on collecting because we think these guys are so cute. So most of these are ladies. The only ones that are mine are the ones on top, the trolleys. So here, I'll bring the troll up, one of the trolls up, will ya? This is the pink troll, number three. I loved trolls when I was a kid. And they even have the jewel belly button. Uh, yep. They're supposed to rub the jewel for good luck. Make a wish. Those were my favorite when I was a kid in the 80s. Okay. And then she also has the orange troll, number four. Orange troll, number four. I, I really wanted to get all of the trolls, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because I don't think you can get all the trolls anymore. And he doesn't have the jewels, too. The okay, jewel. now on to Lainey's collection. I love Princess Diana. Yeah, we read um, one of her books, who the, was the books. Who Was Princess Diana book, and she fell in love with her. And so, then we watched a documentary. A documentary about her. We're, on, we're into documentaries. I didn't realize she had a crown. Oh, she's just now looking very closely because we haven't taken her out of the box. The box is came a little damaged. Yeah, um, and the one I really want the most is the, the Queen Elizabeth too because it comes with a corgi. Yes, we love corgis. Corgis are our favorite dogs, but we don't own one. We don't own any dogs because we live in a small apartment right now. So, we just have one little tabby cat named yeah. Figaro. <laughs> so we really want a corgi like that. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. It even has the Popeyes. <laughs> and then there's a little collection like there's Prince William. It's all... The royal family. Yes. Yeah. And then, when my mom got this movie from the library called Bohemian Rhapsody. No, I had bought it. I wanted to. I oh wanted yeah, you it bought so it. I bought it. <laughs> um. Before, and we hadn't even seen it. I just knew it was gonna be a good movie. So. And it was about Queen. And ever since then, I've just fell in love with it. She had never heard of them. Like before. I want a Queen themed room. I want Freddie Mercury all over the place. She loves Freddie like, Mercury. Like I love him. And Queen. And Queen. Is this your favorite one compared to the other one on the back? Show them the back. Okay, let's see. You like this one better than the other Freddie Mercury 92? Like 96 Mercury, Freddie Mercury or 90? This, 92. I think I like this one better. Yeah. The 96 one. Well, that's the most famous one. I don't like the long one. hair. I don't you like didn't like Freddie with his long no. hair? <laughs> like, when I first saw, like, the music video with his long hair, I was like, who is that? <laughs> and I was like, whoa, when you told me that it was Freddie Mercury. All right. And I'm then this is the one that I like second most. <laughs> Your second It's favorite. a Captain America bobblehead. Boing, boing, boing. He used to have a shield, but he lost it. Bobblehead, and he, yeah, he, he the shield goes right here, and he has little wings, right here. Thor has them too, I'm pretty sure, in the Bobblehead collection. Probably. We've watched every single, I think every. Not single? every single Marvel movie, but. But I think everyone with him in it. Yeah. We watched every single one yeah. with him in it. Okay, what's next? Um, I would say, which one is my next favorite? Right, bring it up. I would say this one. Secret Life of Pets. Oh, yes. We Duke. loved that movie. Yeah, but I cried. She cries at almost every movie she yes. sees, just so you know. If it's about dogs or any if animals. If it has the slightest sad part. I will ball my eyes out. Yeah. Like, in a dog's life. I was just a like, dog's purpose. Yeah, a dog's purpose. She was a mess during that. I was a mess. Like, I've watched it billions of times by now. Mm -hmm. And I still cry every time. Every time. I'm not going to spoil anything. <laughs> but it's going to be sad if you watch it. <laughs> just saying. If you love dogs, I would just skip through some of the parts. The whole movie. Yes. Next. <laughs> um, I would say this one is kind of related to it, so... This, one this is another dog. It was just they they're not characters or anything. They're, it's just pets. Yeah, just like a pet. And it, with these, you can twist them. So say if he's having trouble, you can twist them to the side and it distributes the weight evenly. 
the cutie. I think he's a uh, either a yellow lab or, or a golden retriever. Yeah, because the floppy ears. I can't ears. remember. We don't have our boxes anymore for the ones that are without boxes. He has cute little boots. Okay, next. And then we have kitty. And last but not least, little um, calico kitty. Calico kitty. Um, Me and my grandma used to have a calico kitty. Yeah, I remember um, them. Fuzzy and Wuzzy. They were really cute. Yeah, they were little kittens, but they ran away. But they have a farm next door, so I'm pretty sure they're nice and safe there. Yeah, you think they're at the farm? Yeah. Nice. So, I have a question. If anybody else collects pops, um, I have a few questions. Because we're not really, like, keen on all the things we're supposed to do. So, should we ultimately keep them in the box? Should we take them out of the box, but keep the boxes in storage somewhere so we can put them back in the box? And will these actually be worth any money in the future? Because if not, I say let's just take them out of the box and not worry about the box. But if we think they will actually be worth something, maybe we should keep the boxes. So I just want some info, advice, because we don't know much. But we love these guys, and I want to continue to get them. So, anyways, that's it for our pop video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.